And as you see, this tree behind me is the one that sits outside my window. Uh, since I've moved here, I've seen lots of uh, squirrels and various birds, uh, including sparrows, a robin or two, also some blue jays. Not all that uncommon, of course, around here to see a blue jay every now and then. Uh, the cool thing is, I uh, also earlier in the summer saw a cardinal. Not the best pictures you can see, but uh, by the time I got my camera and got to take a picture, it was that was about all I got. It was gone. It wasn't sticking around for photographs or autographs or anything like that. Now, you've got cardinals and blue jays in the same tree. You've got to ask yourself, if they're there at the same time, what happens? Well, they play a, ba a game of baseball, of course. Now, well, eventually, anyways. I mean, first they have to, you know figure out who gets home field advantage, you know, because, well, you know, there's American League rules, National League rules. It gets a bit uh, contentious sometimes, you know. It usually requires a squirrel to kind of run interference in between the two squabbling sides to uh, get them to shut up and make a decision and play ball. Um, it's, uh, you know, for the most part, the same. You know, obviously the bases are on different branches. You, you know, you have... Uh, First base here on a branch, uh, second base on a branch over here, third base over here. You get the idea. Otherwise, it's basically the same as we, we would play it. Um, you know, the various uh, various other birds, they'll stop by, be the spectators, the fans, and the squirrels. Well, they do what squirrels usually do at ball games. They just run around, getting in the way, interrupting the game, you know, that sort of thing. Of course, in this instance, they also, when they're not doing the other usual stuff that squirrels do, uh, they're also playing uh, the umpires. I mean, somebody's got to ref the thing, right? Anyway, what it all goes to show is, is that baseball is for the birds.